So today we're going to be focusing on one of Paul's letters to the Thessalonians as we pray. Um, and let me read from 1 Thessalonians 3 verses 9 to 13. How can we thank God enough for you in return for all the joy we have in the presence of our God because of you? Night and day we pray most earnestly that we may see you again and supply what is lacking in your faith. Now may our God and the Father himself and our Lord Jesus clear the way for us to come to you. May the Lord make your love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else, just as ours does for you. May he strengthen your hearts so that you will be blameless and holy in the presence of our God and Father when our Lord Jesus comes with all his holy ones. So first we're going to focus on verses 9 to 10. In verses 9 to 10, it says, How can we thank God enough for you in return for all the joy we have in the presence of our God because of you? Night and day we pray most earnestly that we may see you again and supply what is lacking in your faith. So Paul thanked God for his fellow believers and prayed earnestly for them. And so today as we pray, thank God for all that he is doing in the lives of believers all that he is doing in the life of our church. Thank him for that today as you pray. Secondly, pray for our fellow believers that they would grow in the faith and pray for new believers, especially those that have been recently baptised and those who have recently professed faith. Keep them in your prayers this week that God would guard their hearts and minds and that they would grow in faith and relationship with him. Next, let's consider verse 11. Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus clear the way for us to come to you. So Paul desired to be with the fellow believers in Thessalonica and he wanted to encourage them in his faith. And so this week as you pray, Pray for time alongside other believers to encourage them in their faith. Pray for opportunities to disciple and encourage others as you come alongside them. Pray for a passion to be in church, to be serving alongside fellow believers. And next, verse 12, may the Lord make your love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else, just as ours does for you. So Paul prayed that the Thessalonians would grow in abounding love. And this week, pray that God, by his spirit, would fill you with abounding love, abounding love for him and abounding love for other fellow believers. And not only that, but those that don't believe and maybe those that mistreat you are unkind to you. Pray for abounding love, that you can love them even in the midst of those circumstances. Next, verse 13. May he strengthen your hearts so that you will be blameless and holy in the presence of our God and Father when our Lord Jesus comes with all his holy ones. So Paul prayed that God would strengthen their hearts so that they would live blameless lives. So this week, pray that God would strengthen your heart and also the hearts of fellow believers that he would empower each and every one of us by his spirit to live lives that are godly, lives that glorify and honour him.